Good evening folks, Boda Bob here. Hey, tonight I'm going to tackle a project that uh, I've been putting off for a while. I've got a Troy built 27 ton log splitter that um, I have in my stable here. And what uh, happened is when I got my new um, Wolf Ridge log splitter 28 Pro, I didn't run my uh, old Troy built anymore. So I ran it until it ran out of fuel which is good, but I should have run it every month or so. What happened is uh, the carburetor, I believe, got gummed up, and so I took the uh, carburetor off a couple days ago. I ordered some gaskets and uh, soaked, the, uh, soaked the carburetor in my uh, ultrasonic cleaner, and tonight we're gonna put it back together and put it back on the uh, log splitter. We're gonna see if it'll run when we're done. So, that being said, Let's stop talking. Let's get fixing this carburetor and this Troy built 27 ton log splitter. We're going to put this carburetor back together. I ordered myself two gasket kits off of Amazon. One includes all of the uh, gaskets that um, allow the carburetor to be mounted to the, uh, to the uh, cylinder. And then this kit has the uh, gaskets for the bowl. Very simple design and we're going to start by putting it back together. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this metering rod in. It's about one inch long and there's a big hole on the side and some small holes on the side. This end with the big hole that goes in last so you you want that to be on the bottom of the carburetor. Once you put that in, then you're going to want to put the primary jet in. The primary jet is slotted, and that allows you to use a screwdriver to remove it and replace it. You've got to be very careful. It's soft brass. So we already put the uh, metering rod in there. Now we're going to add the primary jet, and we're going to tighten it down until it's snug. We're not going to over tighten it. If you over tighten it, you might not be able to take it back out. You might strip that little slotted little screwdriver slot in the end and once you can't get it out, that's about it. Boy, I'm telling you, it's so tempting to try to tighten it more, but I'm not. Next thing I'm going to do, there's a screw that goes in here. There's a screw that goes in here, little small screw, Phillips head. You want to take that out when you're cleaning it. Let me give my grab my Phillips, tighten it down. That's your idle jet. Oh, now we're going to uh, install the. Uh, we're going to install the float. The float consists of three parts. So you're going to hang this. It's it's uh, four sided, with a point on the one end. You're going to hang that in the float like that. Hopefully, I don't drop it and lose it. And that's going to drop down in to the hole it came out of. Voila! Just like that. We're going to insert the pin that holds the float in place. Allows the float to work. There it is. And there it is. Next thing we're going to do is take this round gasket. I don't know if you can see that. We're going to put it here where the uh, fuel bowl, where the fuel bowl goes in place. What I'm going to do. 
And I think we're going to take this little gasket here, little orange or red black gasket, and it's going to go here on this. This is the bolt that holds the bowl on. But what we're going to do, we're going to line up this bolt here, that's the drain. We're going to line that up so that it's so that it, it's easily accessed when it's on the uh, engine, when the engine's on the uh, log splitter. Let me grab a 10 millimeter wrench. I got my 10 millimeter wrench. We're gonna tighten that bolt down. You don't wanna over tighten it. It's ready to go back on. And let me, uh, so the first step in putting this back together is taking your air cleaner housing, putting your bolts up through there, taking the this metal piece and putting it on. Next comes a gasket. Found the right gasket here. I'm going to make sure you orient the gasket correctly so that there's a little hole there that's got to be open. Next comes the carburetor with the choke linkage towards the air cleaner. Then we need to have another gasket. We're going to Put it over the carburetor. All right, so it took me a while fussing and fiddling, and I think I got everything back in place. So, got the choke on. 
Let's give it a pull. I know why it's not running right. I think it's because the air filter is off. So let me blow that out and we'll put it on. Put your uh, cover on correctly. The hinge part goes to the bottom. The, uh, the uh, push pins go on top. Great, let's give it another pull. Okay, I'm going to clear all the tools off, then I'm going to run the uh, hydraulics. folks that just about wraps it up for this uh, misadventure I'm gonna go out and wash this off with the pressure washer and uh, call it a day with that being said all you professionals out there you know what to do smash that like button hit subscribe and share this video with a friend let's wrap this up get on out of here cheers